I went to school just to please my dad Developed some anger as aftermath I fell off the course while you wait for a portion Coming in late off a helipad I ain't got that money, my nose always running Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, so I don't really want to talk about this and spread FUD So I'm not going to be spreading FUD I'm going to be trying to put to bed This ridiculous claim by this dude CNFT whale uh, He's saying that Ape Crypto Gets promoted uh, or gets paid To promote projects and he's saying that This screenshot that he took is proof And I think it's BS um, You can read it for yourself Jub, hmm, good thing we didn't pay him Wyland Utani. So wait, he not part of this project anymore or what? NFT GOAT, pay him for what? You got robbed? No, he magically isn't a part of the team after it rug pulled. I'm on Happy Hoppers. A few people came to us for various kinds of paid promotions and we turned them all down. Anyone talking about us that isn't us is doing it out of their love for the project. So this is Jub, the dude on Happy Hoppers, one of them anyways at least, is saying anybody who's talking about Happy Hoppers isn't being paid. So that right there, to me, I don't understand if this dude is saying he's not getting paid. How is this proof that he's getting paid? Next, he says, no, I mean nerds. When he's, re when he's talking about, no, he's magically not part of the team after it rug pulled. So what are you talking about? He's not a part of nerds anymore? That doesn't make any sense. His project hasn't even released yet. It's his own project. He's still a part of nerds. This makes no sense. I don't know what they're... Th this chat makes no sense. Next, he says, you got robbed. I did and many others. Okay, you got robbed. That sucks. I don't know what happened with you, but I'm sorry. This has been happening throughout CNFT space for the last few weeks now. It's been getting worse. It sucks. Oh, so you are giving out awareness. And then he says, uh, NFT Go says, there you go, guys go. Ape continuously says he has never paid for promotions. I don't, this is it. This is, that's it. That's the only screenshot. So I was like, okay, well, let me look a little bit. Now, this is from Lucky Lizards. Um, I'm a part of Lucky Lizards, and uh, I actually really like the Lucky Lizards team, and I plan on doing a project, maybe a deep dive into them at some point. Um, he said, I'm not trying to start anything here, but when we talked with A Crypto, he never asked for anything. Uh, da, 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 da. We did a giveaway, and he even showed me the transaction, and I spoke with the winner. My interaction with him has been 100% non-paid. And then he says, CNFT Whale, he's trying to just cover every single comment and try to explain how he could still be manipulating it by mixing in good projects with the bad ones i mean that's that's an assumption that's a guess there's no proof uh high stakes nft the, the little stake project that maybe you've seen um we never paid a crypto nor did he ask for anything when he covered our project um, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but I know that when I asked Ape Crypto to help me with the project, he told me that he would be glad to do it and wanted nothing in exchange. My experience, he's a solid dude. I'm confused as to what your screenshot is proving. Exactly, like, I don't get it. So, I scroll down for a bit, and this dude says, you're trying to justify that Ape is paid or not, because it seems to me like you're trying hard enough, you're not trying hard enough to show that. Uh, Jub is the only one replying that hoppers don't pay influencers to shill. Kudos to that. Do your own research seems fitting in this scenario. And then this dude says, check my other posts. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe he has other posts that are, you know, more, whatever the word is, like showing of his crazy allegations, right? So I go and I look at him. And the first one, another one, how is this acceptable to anyone? Your reputation is over, buddy. I really hope no new people support his project. Save your hard-earned ADA, guys. I wish I did. And he's talking about Underwater Club. This is the tweet he's talking about. Good morning to everyone except the people who aren't jumping into Underwater Club. It's a sarcastic tweet. And it was, what, October 7th that he posted it? When October Club was launching? There's no way that he would know that Underwater Club was going to do so poorly Nobody did. It was the first, I think the first 3D uh, artwork. And it was even pretty cool artwork. I can't deny it. I didn't mint it myself because I just didn't want to. I did my own research and I just didn't want it. And I guess it paid off for me. I'm not happy that it didn't pay off for other people. But I'm just saying, do your own research. Don't just blindly believe somebody because he's got a decent following. So anyways, that doesn't prove anything to me. This next one, please retweet. Don't let Ape Crypto scam again. Okay, what's he talking about this time? Who's hype? He's talking about the launch the same day. So he's posting the same thing. Like, this proves nothing again. What's the other one? Crazy to me how anybody could back up this guy. LOL clowns. 
You're a clown. You freaking listened to him and got underwater club and now you're mad. What are you talking about? Crazy to me. Look, all he's doing is, is talking about the mint again. Two days later saying that they're still minting. He's just, he's just saying a fact. They were still minting. This blows my mind. What does the community need to stop this man from scanning again? How is this acceptable? How is this excusable? Whatever. Good night, everybody, except for the people who aren't minting underwater. Dude, it's a sarcastic tweet, bro. He talked about it a bit. I get it. Maybe he had a lot of conviction in Underwater Club and really wanted to push it, and then he was wrong. I don't think that that's a sign that he's a liar and got paid for anything. It was, I mean, probably one of the only good ones that was coming out of that week or whatever. Like, I don't know, man. But none of this is proof. Even if you don't like the guy. If you don't like the guy and you're trying to find dirt on him, just wait. Wait to find more dirt. Because this isn't even dirt. This isn't even, there's no mud, there's no water, there's no, dude, what do you, what is this? These are just guesses. There was another one. Where is it? I was a victim that's just trying to save. Is this the same one? Is this the same tweet? This is the same tweet. There was one where he was just like, oh, this is why he hides behind all of his videos and he doesn't show his face. And he's probably fat. So now you're going to call him fat too. You just, dude, what are you doing? Why are you so mad? How much money did you put into Underwater Club for you to be this mad? You're a child. You need to get over yourself. If there's some real tweets, if there's some real uh, Discord messages that are like talking to Ape Crypto and they're like, hey, send me your ADA address so that we can, you know, pay you for your hard earned work promoting our thing. Like, if you find something like that, sure, send it. And I will scream at the top of my lungs on my videos how wrong I was and how much of an asshole Ape Crypto was. But until then, sit down, wait. Wait patiently for him to mess up because in the meantime, you look ridiculous and anything you say in the future is going to make you look even stupider. Nobody's going to believe a single thing you say. You're acting like a child. Calm down. You lost some money. It sucks. It sucks for all of us that have lost money. All right. I bought like $400 worth of, uh, no, like $700 worth of Reginalds, right? I'm down. All of it. I'm not sitting there blaming dinos for everything. Calm down, man. People make mistakes and I'm sure you just made one and now you're mad. Sucks. And so for the people who are like, oh, well, why are you getting so mad at this? Because I'm a YouTube content creator as well. And if I say anything like, hey, I support this project. And then later down the road, somebody didn't do their own research and they minted it just because I said I liked the project. And then a bunch of people want to spew hate from me from some ambiguous messages. Then I would love it for somebody who has a little bit of credibility to back me up as well. Why do you think every time YouTubers make a video, they talk about, oh, do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. It's because they don't want people to have these kind of reactions. This is ridiculous. This is childish. They work too hard to make their videos and build their reputation to just have one person try to ruin it all. It's really annoying. All right. And the last thing I'm going to say is if I have any reason to back him up, you know, the only reason I would have is my last video he let me post my channel in his discord where i got two followers him and some other guy that's it i didn't get anything special from him i'm not doing this because i'm getting paid or i'm getting promoted by him i'm just doing it because it's annoying and i think it's ridiculous and i don't want to end on a bad note i'm gonna cover something useful uh bump and uglies was covered today or launched today and it's doing pretty well they minted for 40 ada and at the minimum right now they're going for 60 so it's about a 50 uh, percent increase from uh, from mint price i think that's pretty cool and there was a lot of people trying to spew fud just as always like every project people who get mad i don't know why but they all got some sort of reason the the what people were saying was and i'll show you because if you go to high to low it's easier to show there's the the rare ones that are one to one or whatever they're not one to one they're five to five so there's i think five super rare ones and there's five copies of them so you can see like the hellboy there's two hellboys you can see shrek there's two shreks same background same face and i mean that's just the ones that you can see like immediately there's there's more i'm sure uh like these no those two aren't the same but I, I'm assuming there's three more Shreks, and then I'm assuming there's three more of these. Um, the Homer ones, right there and right there. They they already said it. They it, they talked about this. Like, this isn't reason to have fud. All right. 
And then people were saying like, oh, there's there's a bunch of naked ones. Well, they have different backgrounds. They have different facial features. They have different eyes. I mean, oh, dude, there is so much negativity in this space right now. Is It's getting really annoying. Here's the, the third one. Uh, one, two, three. But I'm just letting you know this, that if you're looking at bumping uglies and you're like, oh, there's a bunch of duplicates, like it's on purpose. Okay, calm down. Um, the other thing about these rarities is the super rare ones like this and the Hellboy and all that, you can't, um, what's it called? You can't mate or breed. So you can't get like a regular one. Um, I don't know what the regular ones are, if this is a regular one or not, it just has a special background, but you can't take like a Hellboy and a Homer and mix them and you can't take like a normal one and any of the special ones and mint them that way to try to get like a, a hybrid face or something. So these rare ones will always be rare, they'll always be unique, and there'll be no breeding. So the ones that are five of five, those are the only five that there will ever be of those. So I just wanted to say that. Congratulations to everybody who got a Bumping Ugly. Um, I stayed away from it. I just wasn't sure about the project. I didn't necessarily not believe in it. I actually had my friend, uh, shout outs to, let's see, where is he at? Shout outs to Jude. Um, and I was just asking him if he saw the the FUD about um, about Ape Crypto, and I hadn't gotten back to him yet. But uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm obviously gonna tell him what I think and what's up. But uh, he was trying to get me to get one of these, and I was just a little late. I even said like, "Oh, thanks for reminding me." You know what? Maybe I'll do it. But I missed out, and it's all good. But uh, yeah, I'm just really cautious nowadays because, like everybody's talking about, it's so much FUD around there, and so much negativity that even a good project can push the floor price down. So in a few days, it wouldn't surprise me if Bumping Uglies were below their uh, their their 60 floor price right now. And if so, maybe I'll get one. If not, you know, it's okay to miss out on a project or two when there's a bunch of projects coming out. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. Don't spew hate. Just try to be nice to everybody. If you see something that's actually legit, like a dm saying somebody's getting paid post it definitely post it okay i'm not saying don't i'm just saying if it's a little ambiguous if it's a little you know unsure unclear what's going on then just ignore it you're probably wrong all right just all right